So the things you need to know about Check It Out is that uh, it's a technique that I use whenever there's something that is creating an overreaction. And the goal of the technique is to teach the dog to simply look at the thing calmly or potentially look at it and then look at me or just look at me calmly in the presence of the trigger. All three of these behaviors are reinforceable. Okay, so now I'm the one outside knocking. Oh, it's a little sticky. Oh, and I've got the handler taking care of the... See how well the handler does? I love it. So since she wasn't barking when I knocked, I tried the doorbell, but did you see how fast she turned around? So now she's not staying there 20 seconds running back and forth. That was a test. She was like, if I bark, will you feed me? Somebody asked me in the Q&A what you do if the dog does keep barking to get food. We'll talk about that. The only times you're gonna take that management away are the times when you are prepared to train. You say, I am ready right now to do some training with Fifi and Fifi and I are gonna go out and do some training and you are present to help Fifi. Hopper's already ready to overreact even though there doesn't seem to be anything out there. And now the barking has started, but Copper and Maria are playing a fun game. So she's come up with a great way to keep him engaged with her while in the presence of that barking dog. And what she's saying is search, search. You see, he's hardly even looking up at the barking anymore. 